As previously mentioned, we've nested our sound manager inside of our embedded assets class. I've gone back to that class and we're going to create two new variables under our sound manager heading, flapping array and a muted, which is a boolean. Now let's create our first function. We'll call it play random flapping sound. And as you can probably guess, it will play a random flapping sound if our muted boolean is set to false. With Jinji Sound Engine, playing sounds at any volume is as easy as writing one line of code. Public static function, play random flapping sound. And then if muted, we'll return. Else we'll play a random flapping sound from the sounds array. So const POS, so position is a number which equals math.round, numbers, numbers tools dot random range between zero and flapping array dot length minus one. And we just have to create a constant for our sound ID. This will be a string, and it'll be our flapping array number. And then all we have to do to play the sound is type gameology sounds engine dot play. We have to pass it the sound ID and set the volume, which we set at half. Next, let's create an unmute function that will flag our boolean as false and play our main song. public static function unmute, muted equals false, and play song. And of course, let's write our play song function that we've just called. Public static function play song, if muted will return, and if not, gameology sounds engine dot play and song. The remaining variable just set whether it loops, the volume, etc we've set it to loop. And then, of course, we need a mute function as well that will flag our muted boolean as true and stop our sounds engine. And to stop our sounds engine, all you have to do is type gameology sounds engine dot stop all. And we have two unique sounds as well, success and fail. The former on passing an obstacle and the latter on collision. So we'll just make two very simple functions that play those sounds. Finally, in our init function, let's, pu let's push our flapping sounds to our flapping array after we've loaded all of the sounds. So flapping array equals flap1, flap2, and flap3. And now in our game settings class, inside of our obstacle passed function, we want to play our success sound. Let's go ahead and add that functionality. embedded assets dot play success and of course in our main class we can also start playing the song on on complete so embedded assets dot play song We also want to implement a mute button for users. Let's begin that by creating a static variable in our element IDS that will hold the string mute button. And now let's just integrate our sound manager into our game screen and our audio will be good to go. In our constructor class, let's create a variable for our sound enabling button. This will be a GUI on off button, which is as it sounds, a button that has two states, on and off, and you can call two separate functions for each one. And in our init function, let's initialize that button. We'll simply tell our GUI on off button which two images to use for our on off states and which two functions to call. We'll do this in our create button section.
correct a few things here. And of course, it should have a bracket at the end. And asset manager should have a get image function at the end of it. Okay, now in our add to stage section, we can add our sound variable to our game layer. Here we go. Game layer. Dot add child underscore sound. As well, after we position our play button, let's position our sound button using GUI alignment methods. And we'll just align it to the top right with a bit of padding. Sound X minus equals padding, sound Y plus equals padding. Finally, in our strike function, we want to play our fail sound, which is as easy as embedded assets dot play fail. But we're still missing something. Of course, we're still missing our random flapping sound when our turtle swims, our most important sound. Let's add that inside our turtle class. We'll navigate to the swim function. And after we start playing our animation, we'll play a random flapping sound. Embedded assets. Dot play random flapping sound. And let's just I think we have a typo. There we go. Now our audio is ready. And let's just set our score Y position based on the bottom of our sound button. Thanks for watching.